Hi everybody, I'm Joe Adams with Nova News and I'm currently sitting with the brand new student body president and vice president. Yeah, my name is Jose Garcia. I am a junior um, accounting major with minors in real estate and business law. Originally from New Jersey, North Jersey, but now live in the Poconos. My name is Thomas DeSoy. I'm a sophomore out of class of 2024. I'm a political science major minoring in public administration uh, and I'm excited to see what we do. Are you guys excited to leave Villanova? How are you feeling after becoming president, vice president after the win? Yeah, I'm actually really excited. I think there's a lot of nerves that are going on. So nerves are definitely one of them because it's just a brand new role. I can, I think Thomas and I can agree. Like we don't know what to expect. There's many different changes that we want to do. Uh, but we're also excited, like not only excited to represent the student body, but also excited for all our initiatives that we have to kind of go forward. We're certainly excited to see what we could do uh, in terms of the Student Government Association and what influence it could have on the Villanova community in terms of new initiatives that haven't been done before, but are ultimately beneficial to enhance the livelihoods of students on campus. I wasn't sure if I was going to run because like, I, I just didn't know if I wanted to like, do that senior year. But the, my first step was like, did I want to run? And then who would I want to run with? And Thomas was definitely one of the, the options of like vice presidents um, that I was thinking about. I know Thomas because we worked on Senate together and just like the minimum wage and all these things. I thought it was really cool, but I, I just wanted to see like, I wasn't sure how the chemistry would be like, but then like we got lunch like before we like officially decided to like, like really after like we found out and then like I think we worked really well, we worked really well together. I know, I think our chemistry in general is just like so compatible. Uh, I think in terms of getting things done from a student government standpoint, I think uh, there's going to be a lot of efficiency uh, in terms of communication with one another, in terms of how we feel uh, trying to gauge the environment on certain issues. You guys ran on a post this year. Do you think that kind of impacts the way maybe like the student body will view um, the new administration? I think when we found, got that email during spring break that we were uncontested, I think we were not only like relieved, but also like excited. Like, I'm not really sure how the student body will take it, but uh, like everyone always says, and like the uh, previous vice president and also VP said, um, like if you guys weren't qualified, you wouldn't have gone through this, or like you wouldn't have gotten chosen, or like you know, like people would have also ran over you. Something we saw is that there was a lot of open SGA positions after the elections. Um, why do you think that is? Do you think that's something? that needs to be fixed, like more interest for SJ, what do you think? And it does need to be addressed. Uh, as you know, if you see with the results of those uncontested elections, uh, it was very male oriented. We want to be able to ensure that it's not just a male oriented or a organization. We want to be able to guarantee that uh, people, regardless of their identity, uh, are able to serve these positions within student governments. And, um, we hope to cultivate more interest in it. But what are some of the major goals of your administration? We want to be able to increase the minimum wage again. Uh, this is something we were able to accomplish through uh, our work in the fall semester with the school administration. Uh, we want to be able to do that to guarantee that students have uh, the opportunity to receive enough money that they're satisfied uh, during their time at college. More transparency between like the administrators and also the student body whether it be with like dining services, parking, like working with like res life, with like housing situation. Also like a lot of our initiatives I think are also DNI focused as well. Like you making sure like minoritized voices are heard on campus when it comes to like having like a space on campus that like you know has been talked about as, as well, like University Race and Justice course, like Equitas, the task force. So things like that we really want to take to bring into every initiative that we have. And we also want to get students feedback to see like what else can we improve as well. It first starts by having conversations. I think it starts by developing partnerships with other organizations of marginalized identities on campus. And I think that'll go such a long way in terms of projects that could be done for the future, uh, in terms of trying to get more representation on campus, and ultimately changing the way uh, our demographics are at Villanova University. And then myself as a person of color here at Villanova, I remember coming in freshman year and I was like, in like a shock because of like the demographics or things like that so especially in being this position and also being in my positions in SGA like I think the DNI focus was like something that I definitely wanted to focus on in everything I do whether it be like residence life and even the minimum wage like the focus was you know like the ones who are working 
on campus are the ones who come from like backgrounds that like are not as privileged. So like having that increase in minimum wage definitely helped uh, some of those students and also just like uh, talking to other multicultural student organizations here on campus because there are a lot of initiatives that like uh, many different groups want to do or like they, and they don't know the avenue that they can go to but like SG is really the avenue that like we can get stuff done. Well, that's all the questions I have but thank you both for talking to me. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to see what your administration does. Thank you Joe. Thank you.